we wake Hear the birds and see Take both of them Are you kidding me? Dang, do you see those turkeys? <laughs> that flock is getting huge. Thanksgiving and Christmas. <laughs> what? What are we doing? <laughs> if I lift this, will you lift that or vice versa? Okay. Can't take you guys with us on that side. Wow, okay. I look pretty. <laughs> This should help. <laughs> you got it! <laughs> oh, I forgot that thing weighs so much. Is this thing always heavy? Kira used to carry it for us. Oh, that's why it wasn't heavy for us. It was heavy for her. <laughs> and now oh, we just no. put the tailgate up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can anymore. Oh, boy. <laughs> she didn't mean me. <laughs> That's oh. where it lives. I guess it's gonna hold those ladders in I nice. I don't think it'll blow out. <laughs> I think we're good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? I'm looking at where their water is at. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, you guys, we're over here helping Matt and Brenda and Isaac. You guys need to come over and check out their channel if you have not been over here. I'll put a link in the description below. Come over and support them. They're some good friends of ours. We just love them to death. Um, and we're going to help them raise their roof. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> So you guys, we brought our ladders, and let me show you how much they're not going to work. So Marty brought his ladder over. Look. <laughs> it's a good thing, Marty, that you have this ginormous ladder. Yeah, I know, huh? It's what happens when you build a house, huh? Yeah. <laughs> stuff over time. <laughs> Good morning guys. So what we're doing today is we're gonna show you everything that we've milled because apparently we haven't and you guys keep asking how much we have left. Well, we have a bazillion more to do. We wanna show you what we've got. Uh, we're probably gonna mill um, another giant log on the mill and then I think we're gonna try to figure out how to do these plates. I don't know, we'll see. Okay guys, I think you probably noticed the big elephant in the room, but I did find my yellow glasses. <laughs> but 
We've got all 20 of our six by sixes milled. This is only for the bottom floor. This is a two story barn. And then we've got uh, just a miscellaneous count of four by fours. Uh, I think we have some more still over there that we've milled and these are for our, um, let me know on the bottom if you know what they're called, but they're the bracings. Get your pole, your thing, you get your da-da. <laughs> you get your dad, you get your mom, you get your kids. <laughs> So we got some of those done. Let me show you what else we got. And then we got all these super cool six by tens that are the top plate on the east and west side of the barn. able to move these logs if it wasn't for Kelly and Dwayne loaning us their tractor. Such good friends of ours. Um, this is a team effort on this build. So I'm going to have a link to their channel below my little Idaho off-grid homestead. Uh, go over and support them. They're a new channel and they're just good friends of ours. Okay guys, so here's the plan. When I put these piers in two years ago, I'd never poured concrete in my life. And I was terrified. So I made really big piers. The The bases of these piers are probably four feet by four feet. They're huge. These are 26 inches. These things are not going to go anywhere. And because I really wasn't, I, I mean, we kind of laid it out. Um, I had help with that, but I was still just, what if the post is in the wrong place? So we came up with this system. I had seen someone else do it and we put 10 by 10 plates um, that has a J hook on the bottom of them and those are cemented in. And then I have this guy, which has an eight by eight plate. It's really thick, they're very heavy. And this will, um, this part right here will go into the six by six, it'll be bolted and then I can move this um, to wherever my six by six touches my little line here. And then these will be welded on. Um, so we have a friend that has a welder, cause I don't know how to weld, who is going to do that for us. You guys know him, Randy. Um, and so we're gonna get those set on like that. So that was a system that I could do for somebody who just did not know how to line all the things up. So this basically goes like this. So I've got to figure out a way to drill this um, into the center of my post and get that inserted in there, drill the holes for the bolts, and then we'll get this all bolted together and when we stand these up, they'll be welded. So this is gonna be one of the things we're gonna try to figure out today. So another thing that we have to do today is add another pier. I've got two more bags of 80 pound concrete back by the shipping container that we need to bring over and we're not going to set a pier as big so i talked about this in another video but our our center posts our beams are going to be at 15 feet so we have two sections in this um, barn shop that can be usable without having to try to move around the plans show two rows i talked to aaron he said 15 feet would work but we didn't want to go any further than that and this is 20 feet so we need to square a pole, a pole, I'm sorry, a pier up about right here. But like I said, we're not gonna do it as big and we have to do it by hand. <laughs> so this is our staging area and we've gotta get a couple of these logs out, fill, figure out what these guys are that we've already cut are and where we're gonna put them. So it's gonna be less milling today and just a lot of more cleanup and setting up, but it's answering some questions that you guys have had for us, so I hope you enjoy the video. It feels so good. Yeah, it does. Good morning, guys. The temperature has dropped, it's really cold, so we're enjoying the sun. We're squinty. <laughs> So we're on a quest to get all of our firewood before the rain comes because we have been super blessed with some amazing, unusual warm weather, but it's coming to an end. Sitting on my phone. <laughs> um, so we're supposed to get about five days of rain this next week. We have this pile of wood that you guys just saw in the last little blip. 
that is mostly cut. Some need to be split. We have borrowed a log splitter and what we did a cord and a half yesterday of firewood. And I think between this and what we have left, we have another three cords. That'll give us six cords of firewood for this year. And that'll be good. We do have some logs that still need to be cut up, but they can be put on the back burner because they can be, they'll be for next year's anyway, but we are still going to try to get those cut and stacked. We're just not going to be super concerned about it because we'll have what we're already burning and then we can get back to the mill. So today we're going to try to move firewood, finish milling logs. Um, what else do we have? Put in another pier. Yes. Um, we started cleaning up on the build site. That'll be for another video. Oh but yes, organizing. Organizing that. So that's gonna be a whole nother video once we get all of that stuff together. Um, and then we have our live tonight. So you guys, you're not seeing this on Tuesday, but on Tuesdays we have a live at five. Make sure you show up, come hang out with us. We look forward to it. And they're hysterical because yeah. really we're funny. Even when we don't mean to be. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you haven't seen last Tuesday's live, or I guess by the time you watch this two Tuesdays ago, <laughs> you need to go watch it. It was pretty funny. Everybody was laughing. Major Freudian. Freudian. <laughs> Freudian <laughs> sleep, slips. 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 <laughs> Words are hard. <laughs> We're just enjoying some granola and some yogurt out here before we get started so we can have a little bit of extra energy. Yeah, it's much nicer over here than over in the shade. Mm -hmm. I was freezing. I think they said 30 something. The date today is what? October 19th? 18th. 18th. So it's the 18th. They basically said that the rest of the month is going to be rain. I don't know how we're going to get this barn bill done. We'll power through. That was like this. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? Here, need a hand. Okay, good. Okay, good, because that's my bad shoulder. <laughs> Have that removed. Okay guys, we're getting ready to bust into this log and it is a hair up, drink it from the jug kind of day. <laughs> Kim was making fun of me because I didn't use cup. <laughs> <laughs> but, so we've been looking at our list, our cut list. We have all of our six by sixes. We have some of our four by fours. We have some of our six by tens. The six by tens that we need next are 15 feet long. So we have one, two, three, four, five logs to get through before we get to the 15 foot long logs. So then what we need next is two by sixes. So we're gonna be cutting, and I think we need about a hundred of them. So we're gonna be cutting two by sixes and four by fours out of these next actually six logs. So the one that's on the mill also. Um, we also need a whole lot of three by sixes, but that's for the roof. And we are trying to mill as we go. 
and as what's going to be put up next because we're going to put up this whole bottom floor first and then get to milling the top um area basically so um at least the framework not not the flooring or any of that kind of stuff so that's what we're going to try to work on now even though it kills me to make two by sixes out of these beautiful logs um it's what's in the lineup and so it's what we're doing next we are also on our breaks finger finger quote breaks moving firewood and um, cleaning up and moving our, we have to move our two by sixes over to the staging area. So we're gonna be setting up that. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Hi guys, this is a good time for us to let you know who in the heck are we? Yes. I'm Heather. I'm Kimmy. And this is Cause We Can Farms. About three years ago, I bought 73 acres up here in Northern Idaho and invited Kimmy to come help me build a homestead. We are longtime best friends. We served in the army together and she invited me along for this adventure and I thought she was crazy, but I jumped on board and said, what an adventure. I'm a little crazy, but I like to take my friends <laughs> with me when I go. <laughs> we really hope that you will subscribe, comment, let us know where you are from and if you mill or if you have a homestead or any of those fun things. So I hope you enjoy the journey. Thanks guys. We also have two other channels we, we should mention. We do. I have a channel, Waking Up Country, City Girl Learning All About Country Life with a little bit of beekeeping thrown in there. So I'd love to see you over there. Uh, comment below. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself on my channel and the link is in the description. And then we also have Cause We Can Farm to Table. Um, eventually we will be bringing, you know, cooking, doing cooking on there and animal stuff and that kind of things. So I have a few videos on there and we'll be adding more to that. So click over there. Again, both of those links are in the description. Thanks for supporting us. We really appreciate you guys. I think we were also wavy cut. And that hump looks, well, it's probably because it goes up and then goes down. But it says that's only an inch taller on this side than this side. Yeah, there is a pretty big hump in the middle. Well, this, this log was banana shaped. Just a little bit on the inside, but a, 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 quite a bit more on this side. Now it looks more whale shaped. Now it's a whale. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Moby. <laughs> 17 by 18. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna drop an inch, and I'm gonna go. It's probably gonna be wavy, I'm gonna go really slow.
Okay guys, so we ran out of gas because I was not paying attention. <laughs> so Kimmy went to go get the gas. I unloaded these two by sixes. They are wavy. Um, we're just gonna have to work with it. Um, this isn't, we, we may go ahead and change our blade and see if that helps for the rest of um, the logs and stuff. Um, because we definitely don't want these to be wavy because these are our girts. So uh, that's basically where we're at. So I'm waiting on gas. 